Hello, everyone. Welcome to this session uh, to talk about the Real Madrid Graduate School. My name is Marisa Sainz. I'm the executive director of the school, and it's my pleasure to be with you uh, today. Uh, good morning. I see some people from Colombia. I see others from Germany, so good afternoon. And someone from Turkey, good night, maybe, there. Uh, thank you for sharing your time with us. Um, we are going to start with a very uh, few slides to, to give you a view about the, the Real Madrid Graduate School. And later we will introduce uh, two of our main directors, the director Pablo uh, Burillo in charge of the MBA program, and Mr. Carlos Dressler in charge of the um, sport uh, football, the football coaching and management uh, uh, program. So um, this is a very unique model. Uh, this is the reason because I want to explain a little bit um the uh, the link uh, and the connection between real madrid and universidad europea started in 2006 uh it's just almost 15 years ago it doesn't look like a big uh, uh, uh time but in fact um in 2006 it wasn't so obvious that we have a specific industry related to sports um, the main idea of Real Madrid when they decided to, to, to start with the school was to give back to the society part of the love that they receive um, in, in terms of education. Um, from the side of uh, Universidad Europea, we were always looking for, um, you know, prepare the best professionals. Then the link with uh, a big brand and a big uh, um, professional um, a corporation like it's Real Madrid was very natural because both of us have this uh, global orientation and avant-garde orientation. So um, something very important, it's just 15 years ago, but um, we started just with the MBA campus basis, but now we are talking about a big amount of programs. I will tell you a little more later, but very important that we have more than 12,000 alumni. Um, in everything related with the sport, but in so many countries that is now difficult uh, not find one of our students in, 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 in a country. And this is a great opportunity of connection also for all of you when you are looking for a professional in another field or a professional in a specific sport or in a specific place of the, of the world. Um, something very important also that make our um, school very unique is this uh, transdisciplinary approach. Um, I mean, you can find some schools related with some programs related with sport uh, management, but the good thing of, of the Real Madrid School is that we have under the umbrella of sports, all kinds of, um, of degrees uh, from management, marketing, journalism, communication, law, um, physiotherapy, nutrition, training, uh, uh, physical activity, uh, football, coaching, uh, psychology, I think almost everything uh, related with sport. And this is also very appealing for you because you have the connection with different professions um, in the different activities that we do together, like the white wheat. Right? It's a week with all the managers of Real Madrid where we put together all of our students no? and other different events like the graduation ceremony, like some of the trips that you can connect with uh, with other um, students. Um, all of the degrees, and each time more and more, are very oriented to the last tendencies. Uh, of course, uh, talking about technology, of course, talking about the digital transformation, big data, artificial intelligence. Um, you can see in all the facilities, in the labs, like, all our, all our professors are professionals in the sport field. They will tell you what is happening right now and what will happen in the future because they are making uh, the changes in the, in the industry. And something also very important is that um, we go forward with um, some specific groups with um, research for all these fields, okay? And PhD studies and people that is also um, uh, giving new ideas and, and being entrepreneurs in, in all this area of, of, of sports. Um, in the next slide, you can see also something that we like uh, to share with all our students. You know that Real Madrid is a very unique uh, brand. Um, 
they are very well known for all their trophies, but what really makes uh, the brand unique is the, the values that they have uh, along the time. Um, you can listen to a lot of players when they start to play with Real Madrid, that when you wear the Real Madrid t-shirt, you have to do your best, you have to win. Um, sometimes people is a little expected, no? when, when they just won a Champions League, um, they are just celebrating maybe one day, but after that, they are thinking in the next match, in the next game, because they always have to win. This that happened with the players in the field also happened with the professionals of Real Madrid, but also with us uh, when we are doing this kind of programs, but also with our alumni, huh? with our students. Then it's something that we can, we have to transmit to all of you during the whole year, uh, sharing these values uh, that we summarize in entrepreneurship, leadership, integrity, teamwork, and excellence that is the consequence of, of, the, of the others. Uh, something important uh, for, for you guys to understand um, a little bit more what I say previously, the diversity of, of the program that we have. You can choose in most of the programs um, in Spanish, in doing in, in Spanish or in, in English. Um, I always recommend you to do it um, in, the in the language that is not your mother language, okay? If, if, if you are very fluent in, in, in English, uh, but you know something in Spanish, always I encourage you to do it in the other language to open more, even more your, your mind. But like you can see um, in the next slide, you can pass, is that we have uh, almost all the programs in both languages, Spanish and English. We also have a lot of uh, short courses, all of them online. Uh, we can pass the next, sadly. Um, in all these cases, um, we are looking with these short courses. We are talking about 10 weeks. Uh, to give you uh, the last tendencies, uh, big data, artificial intelligence in each one of the fields, digital transformation. Um, it's also another opportunity that you have. We started with this the last year, or you can combine an, um, a master's degree program with also some of these courses. Um, in the next slides, you can see um, a little bit more about what means to have uh, the Real Madrid brand. Uh, it's much more than just having the brand. The implication of the club is amazing. Mr. Emilio Butragueño is the uh, is the leader of the school, is the uh, uh, the managing director. I talk with him almost every single day, um, and he's very implicated. But also in every single program, you have a director uh, that is in the day-to-day, -day, and at the same time, you have a co-director that is the main manager on the area uh, for Real Madrid. For example, in the MBA program, the co-director is Michael Sutherland, that is the chief of uh, transformation, that is the main uh, area now in Real Madrid. Um, and in the case of, uh, of football, Solari has been the director, now Arbeloa is going to be probably the director of this program. So always um, we have a lot of, uh, of relation also with uh, in the direction of the programs with the club. I have to tell you that every single time when I go to Aldebebas, I spend a lot of time uh, saying hello to our, our alumni because we have already like um, almost 15% um, uh, of the employees of Real Madrid are alumni from, from the school. Then it's a, it's a good point also for you. Um, and a lot of you can do also some internships um, and have some really great experiences with, with the club. Uh, something that makes uh, the, the school really unique also is the, the global orientation. Uh, I just say hello to one of the groups in a moment, and in that group we have all of the international students. No one was uh, were from, from Spain, uh, but it's not just how many international students you have in the class, it's also the diversity. We have all the continents present in the class, and this is gold for you. You are going to learn from uh, your professors, but also with your classmates, um, having different approaches um, to the to the to the theory to the to the content that you are going to see in the class. Um, if we can pass to the next slide, you have here something that I talk about the globalization, how global we are. Also, you can see this in the professionals that we have. This is just an example of one of the programs in the MBA. But um, the good thing is that we have um, almost. In, in all countries, some of our alumni that are already working 
in the spore field, okay, and in the, in the main branch like, like you can see here. Um, finally, um, the school is very well recognized uh, in some of the rankings in Spain, of course, is the first in each one of the areas, but also in some international rankings is very well positioned, especially the MBA, Apple will tell you later. Very recently, the last award that we have is the um, the National Sport Award in Spain, uh, the Copa Stadium that the Queen and the and the King uh, gave to Mr. Emilio Botarreño uh, very recently. Um, and that's all, uh, just like a short introduction about the, the school. Now let's go to the to the most important thing that is to, to learn from the director of the program, uh, something more deeply about each one of the programs. If you have questions, you can write in the in the YouTube, and and I will do uh, probably at the at the end because probably we will have uh, some similar questions. So I don't know if Pablo is there. Pablo Burillo, are you there? Yes, my dear. hey, hi guys, hello, good afternoon, good evening, uh, good morning, also for people so from from America. Uh, I'm Paolo Borillo. I'm the, the academic director of the Executive MBA in Sport Management, 100% online. Uh, pleased to meet you virtually. And, and well, uh, I'm going to explain and introduce you some um, items, some things about this uh, Executive MBA program. Well, first of all, I need to say that we are proud that uh, this program is uh, has chosen one of the top 10 best sport management postgraduate uh, all over the world, okay, in the Sport Business International ma Magazine uh, uh, with the face-to-face -face MBA program. This is the oldest uh, program, online program in, in our graduate school. I think this edition is the 15th edition. So we, we have a lot of experience in the online with the sport management. And um, our main goals for, for every student is to transmit knowledge and, and experience that allow you to, to live with maximum guarantees any professional experience in the sport industry. And also hand by hand with a sport leader club that is Real Madrid, one of the most famous clubs in, in the world and, and more successful. And the other thing is to transfer the passion of a sport to, to the business. This is not only a, 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 a football uh, program. This is a sport management program. That means that we, for sure, we are in the Real Madrid. So the main activity of the club is the football, but we also talk about uh, basketball, uh, tri triathlon, uh, swimming, athletics, uh, whatever. So this is becomes due to a, a leader about the sports, okay, in the sport industry and in the an MBA that is uh, one of the most important postgraduate programs that you can uh, learn uh, an MBA in this case an executive MBA with our methodology that is uh, the theory uh, cooperation with your classmates and a lot of practice okay every time doing uh, assignment with uh, in, in the real life okay in the real cases that uh, allows you to uh, to uh, manage every uh, single uh, sport company or whatever you are going to, to, to work, okay? And, and well, this uh, methodology to compete for, is successful for us because you will have the Real Madrid experience. The Real Madrid experience means that um, a lot of uh, staff and uh, um, executive from the club comes to, to our program to uh, share with you their knowledge, their experience, their, their tricks, their, their or uh, all the, the suggestions to to to, well, to 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 give you a, an overall uh, um, a view of different departments. Okay, with case studies, some of the case studies are from from Real Madrid, uh, but uh, have written from from another uh, university. For example, uh, Harvard Business School have uh, two uh, cases from from Real Madrid, but we have all other case studies from from the MBA. Uh, from from different organizations, okay, with live webinars that means uh, webinars in live, talking to the professor with us in a small groups, uh, you you can participate and ask whatever in live, okay, during the the afternoon evening here in Spain, that is uh, between uh, five uh, five p.m. to to nine p.m. Okay, more or less this kind of of, of schedule. 
and with an updated content that is quite for us is quite important to renew the content in all the the models because imagine that, that two years ago that uh, is not uh, the same challenge that we have in this nowadays after the COVID-19 or well uh, recovering the normality in, in uh, after COVID-19 uh, we renovate all the content uh, every two years okay and this is a flexible program because um, you can watch the live uh, webinars in live or the, in live or watch it uh, recorded again and again okay and even uh, we have different deadlines for the assessment not only one deadline different uh, deadline because you can uh, do your own pathway about the program and uh, be, because all of the these kind of people uh, have a lot of uh, duties and and we like to combine your personal life your professional life with the the, the academic life okay and the networking for us is quite important the networking is not an only a program you need to improve your networking your your network of of, of people uh, from from the sport industry uh, how do uh, uh, doing different uh, things for example uh, in all the models you have at least one uh, group assignment so you can do it with your classmate uh, uh, an assignment even the master thesis is in groups for us it's quite important to to work in in like a team okay like in the real life okay and uh, even with this kind of a small group that you can watch and know every 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 classmate uh, from your class okay and the trees and face-to-face -face events is not only a 100 percent online program is an add value there are the trips and face-to-face -face events here in madrid and in, the, in new york that i'm going to explain you later okay and well another thing important for, for us is uh well the 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 schedule i mean the agenda okay our plan to win the study plan well this is an mba okay it's executive mba because it's uh, lead you to be a uh, uh, to be a executive, a director of, of a company, but it's, uh, it's an MBA. So all the most important uh, factor of an MBA, like strategy, like finance, like marketing, like operation, all you have are focused on sports, okay? Every sports. And so, for example, some of our the models is general management in the sport companies, economics for sport companies, marketing and communication. This is the basic, but then, we have the specialty branch of uh, marketing, and then uh, well, we have a lot of uh, other things uh, like uh, port facilities, uh, facilities and and resources. And yes, uh, the 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 last uh, three specialty branches are entrepreneurship, are um, marketing and uh, communication. And then uh, well, we have uh, another things that is the internship. Internship here are um, an optional. What well, that means that it's an optional. It's up to you to do the internship or not because this is an executive program. That means that is uh, you can do it or not uh, the internship. And the last thing is the master thesis. And well, the, the last thing is uh, uh, the, the how we schedule the the, the older things. Uh, the third is three quarters uh, about. Um, 11 12 weeks okay the first quarters are general management finance and marketing the second quarter are entrepreneurship and uh, management skills and a participation in 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 sport operation and the last quarter is uh, sport operation marketing and master thesis uh, why do we do that uh, it's because if you have you know travel or, or, or one week or two weeks you have doing something it is uh, it's better for you to have this kind of uh, things and and to to reschedule everything and you only lose sorry okay uh, you only lose uh, two uh, weeks and, and you can do it uh, again and again okay so that's why we um, have this kind of quarters and uh, as i told you there are some as individual assignments that are uh, real case studies uh, in the individual assignment um, in each unit that is one of them are collaborative so you can do it in groups and uh, at the end of the program you will have more than 60 webinars on life 
all of them are recorded and um, uh, there's a new uh, a modern virtual platform Sorry, I, I, can, I, Sorry, I, I can't I, see I the, the connection. <laughs> uh, 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 now, now, now it's okay. Sorry, and I, I can continue. Sorry, and uh, okay. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, well, uh, the last thing is uh, well, the, our team. Okay, the faculty. Uh, we have more than fifty uh, uh, pro different professor. Exclusive, exclusive masterclass with executive from Real Madrid, a uh, professor like, well, with a massive experience, large experience in the international sport industry, like Adidas, uh, Olympic Committee, FIFA, La Liga, OGLB, well. and as Marisa told, uh, told at the beginning, the co-director, that is Michael Sutherland, he has a, um, a welcome uh, masterclass with all the students, uh, he is the uh, chief transformation officer of Real Madrid, and um, well, all of them are coordinated with some case studies, assignment, master thesis, uh, in in the real environment of, of group decision making and, and teamwork, as I told you. And the last thing are the face-to-face -face groups. Uh, well, sorry, trips. This is an option. It's an add value of the program, so you can join to these kind of trips. Uh, the first of all is uh, Real Madrid White Week that is in Madrid, consisting in, in meetings with the class director and guest speaker from the international sport industry uh, with all the students of the, of, the, of the graduate school. That is going to be more or less uh, 500 or 600 people. The MBA week, that is at the beginning. So you, you will uh, meet your classmates, you will meet your professor, even you can uh, visit the Real Madrid facilities and university facilities. And the last trip is uh, the New York Sport Week. That is a trip to New York to have another view that is the American uh, sport industry view. Uh, we visit and meetings with main sport managers from, from, from the US that is uh, shared with the NBA group, face-to-face uh, -face group. So we are going to be about 80, uh, 100 people all together in New York visiting this kind of um, unique uh, trip. And uh, well, this is the add value. You can join or not. But um, if you can improve your networking, I, we think that this is a, a good idea and is is a is a goal for you. So well, more or less, this is the the everything that I need to say about the the MBA. It's important to you that well, you know that there is no age to do that. It doesn't matter if you are younger or, or older. And well, at the end make up your mind uh, as, as our slogan, train your dreams and try to achieve your goals in the sport industry. Hey. Hey, uh, Pablo, thank you very much. Sorry, I have sorry to say for, that... for my connection. <laughs> no, I, I have to say that this is the time for babies and they interrupt us sometimes no. and these things, don't worry. We preferly understand, no worry. In, in this new situation that we have, we all understand. It's very late yeah. here in Spain. And thank you so much for, for being here with us. We have some questions, but we will do at the end a little okay, more related I will to the hear. MBA. Um, just to answer to, well, we have some people now from India, England, uh, uh, Kusi, Jaikov, uh, I don't know if the pronunciation is perfect, but um, let me answer just to Sarah. Um, that is asking about uh, the possibility to do um, to tailor make um, some of these programs from some clubs in Turkey. The answer is yes. We have a person in charge of the international agreements, um, and we have done already with some countries and with some specific sport and, and clubs. So at the end is my email in this presentation. You can send me an email, and, and we will we will tell you because we have all these possibilities, all these programs also tailor made for big organizations, uh, campus based online, uh, whatever, OK? So but let's go now with, uh, with the next um, uh, program that we want to introduce uh, for all of you today. Is the program in 
uh, direction of football, sports, coaching and management. Uh, I think Carlos Dressler should be there. Hello. Yes. How are you, Marisa? Good to speak to you. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here with us. Uh, so the floor is yours and uh, if you don't mind, uh, in, introduce a little bit the program and after that I will pass some of the questions of the students. Thank you so much, Carlos. Perfect. If we can get the, the presentation going, much better. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be uh, presenting to everybody here. Um, hello from all of the countries that you're seeing us all around the globe. So uh, it's a, a great pleasure to be here with you. Um, I am the co-director of this program. So basically, I just want to take you through the, the process and the journey that we go into when we start this program, which is aimed mostly at people who are passionate about football, professionals, or want to become a professional in it, and want to develop both um, football skills as well as managerial skills within the area of football, not like in an MBA way, as, as Pablo just mentioned really, really clearly, but as a coach as well as a sport director and anything in between, right? So for that matter, we have all these modules um, that go one after the other, and they follow a line of um, of growth and understanding of the activity from the internal starting point to the whole uh, journey into all the different areas of the of a club activity, right? So the first module starts uh, at a look at ourselves in terms of management and our own leadership as uh, either coaches or sport directors or head of recruitment or head of coaching or any of these tasks that require dealing with people, dealing with professionals in, inside a club, even sometimes outside a club, like agents, like player families or the, or the, or the players themselves. So here we have um, a staff or, or a group of professors who are going to help us, not just uh, look at what this environment is like, but also look at ourselves internally to see what it is that we should be doing in terms of behavior, in terms of mentality. And for that, we have Maria Ruiz de Oña, who is an absolute expert in the field of, of, of sports psychology with many years working in Athletic Bilbao and recently four years in Aspire in Qatar. And she's uh, one of the world's most important uh, scholars and practitioners in this area. Um, and with her, all of our students are going to be able to look both inside and also towards the football activity. Secondly, we go directly into club and academy analysis, right? Um, this includes club organization and, and how a club is structured, right? And that, But we're always looking at the sporting side. We're always looking at uh, the football area. We're not going to look at marketing. We're not going to look at um, the areas that do not have a ball ready and there to be done. So um, we're going to look at the academy and how that is organized and structured. It's a tremendously important part of a club, especially now that the um, that, that football is taking these steps towards player development. And the club as a whole, including as well uh, a sport direction, um, a scouting and recruitment area. And for this, we're going to have Dan Parnell, who is the president of the Association of Sport Directors based in England. He's, again, a leading figure in the area of sporting direction and club management. And we're also going to have Raymond Van Beine, um, who is the final director of operations. Uh, both of them experts with experience at clubs and also in the the understanding of the activity, which is important. It's not just about tools or, or ideas. It's about understanding behind uh, how a club operates and why it should operate and what is important. What are the relevant uh, critical success factors? What are the, the, the KPIs that we need to look into in order to make sure the club is functioning well? For module three, we're going to go into football philosophy, right? So every club, especially now in a more modern way, is understanding that they need to develop a philosophy that goes from the management to the field, to the on-pitch situations where the players have to execute according to some ideas, right? So in this module, we're going to go through that entire process where we start at understanding who we are, what the club identity is, and how that reflects all the way into the pitch, the, the, the game concepts, the, the players' behavior, and how we have to do everything in training and in the games according to the 
clubs philosophy and identity. And for this, we're going to have some uh, professors who are specifically uh, designed or specifically organized and, and experienced in uh, providing these ideas with us. So um, it's difficult to find the uh, a single one point that says exactly how to do it, because every club is different, every context is different, and for all of our students, the contexts are going to be different. So it is about the principles. This is about understanding what is important to know when um, when you're trying to develop a club philosophy. Can we see the next slide, please? Great. Thank you. So here now, as you see, we have a variety of um, of teachers, right? A variety of, of lecturers. We're going to have um, uh, from again from Holland, Melvin Vol in in Feyenoord, and Alois Weinka, who is the actual uh, person in charge at the Dutch Federation of helping clubs develop these philosophies and seeing it all the way through to the academy. Chris Dockery, we experience in uh, in Croatia, in Scotland, and now in Russia. David Tenorio, with uh, a specialty in developing model of play and developing the ideas that link uh, everything into the pitch. Michael Bill also in charge with uh, a variety of clubs into uh, understanding and data. And we're also going to have a, a former student of us, of this particular program, who is an expert in goalkeeper coaching. He has the experience from this program into how to connect everything. And he has specialized in creating something that goes all the way to the work that is done with goalkeepers in the first team and in the academy so that it is all aligned. Um, so this is one of the most important modules, but it is followed by the actual curriculum, which is special, of course, to the academy, but not limited to it, right? So we have all of this philosophy, we have all of these ideas, values, principles, identity, and we need to translate them into real game contents. This is what we're going to teach our players in the academy. This is what we're going to ask our players in the first team to do so as to develop the, the model of play, so as to make sure that we're doing what needs to be done according to that philosophy. And this means that we're going to have to go into periodization, uh, practice on field, training. And for that, again, we're going to have some of the same professors, plus Ivan Kepchia, who's also a Croatian expert with plenty of experience, who's behind some of the greatest uh, uh, players in the development, uh, Dinamo Zagreb, and also has a lot of experience in, in sport direction. Then again, aligning um, the senior side and the, the sport direction of the first team with the academy. So, um, and from here we can go into one of the most interesting topics that is in module five, which is um, this one topic that is a bit complicated to refer to because it's not something that is out in the open. It's not something that is high profile, right? And this is a key issue. Many clubs are turning to academies and uh, usually they do a great job in scouting or in development, but they lack that bit where they can turn their young starlets into real professional players with quality, with market value, and of course with performance for the first team. There are plenty of ideas to look at, plenty of processes and methods to improve that transition from the youth academy and youth football, or just being young, into professional football. And this is what we're going to look at in this, um, in this module. I'm going to be personally involved in this module as well, and I'm going to help you through it. And we're going to also look at how Alex Feinka does it from the Dutch Federation, Chris Doherty, in, in the clubs that he's been involved, and, uh, and Xavi Camps from Levante here as well, also a former student of an uh, on-site program, um, who has also developed some of these ideas from a scouting perspective. And from this uh, area where we get back into uh, professional football, we go into big data and sport direction, which is where we start looking at how uh, sporting director role gets uh, done, what are the important things for a sporting director, um, what's relevant for scouting and recruitment as much as performance analysis, and how big data plays a role in this. And big data, as you would know, is becoming more and more important. It is a big deal, and in the future, it is already a reality, but going forward, this is going to be more and more important. So we're going to definitely look at how we can integrate everything and how we can work with 
uh, the personal subjective side of things, the opinions that we have, the, the experience and how we use it for decision making, together with objective decision making that uh, is provided by the, the, the data as per the companies. Um, here we're going to be able to speak to uh, amazing professionals. We have Victor Horta, who is the sporting director at Leeds United, and Pablo Longoria, who has been the sport director of Juventus, Valencia, Olympique Marseille, but now has become the president of Olympique Marseille. So he will actually tell us uh, beyond the scope of the recruitment role, the sport director role, um, how important all of this is and how it can be managed. And again, we have Ivan Kepchi and Chris Dockery to provide insight from their experience and, and their deformation into the exact role and the day-to-day -day life of the, uh, of the sport director. And fin finishing with the first team area, we're going to look at uh, what is important in order to be able to uh, understand how the first team should be performing, right? And there's a big component here in big data um, because in the end, football is a demanding activity. There's fitness component. There is, um, as you would know, uh, the players are now wearing the GPS devices and there's live trackers everywhere. There's a lot of information that can be gathered from that. And as a club, as sport directors or, or uh, any form of uh, role on top of coaching, well, we need to know how the team is going. So here we're going to have a wide variety of, of professors from all different areas, different um, cultures, where, I mean, including Portugal, including Spain, uh, again, England, um, Germany. Everybody has a different uh, approach to this because the game is different in different countries and therefore the, the physical performance and the, the, the tactical performance is treated differently. So we will be able to gain a lot of insight from a variety of, of professionals in different areas who are going to tell us what is important to them and what they think is important for a manager to consider when it comes to performance analysis. Now, this is not just um, a set of lessons. This is not just a set of, of videos or content or webinars. We also want to create um, a possibility for our students to really feel what Real Madrid is like. And for this, we have the possibility of you as students being able to come to Madrid and visit the, the, the facilities at Real Madrid, world-class facilities, um, the stadium, which we hope will be already finished very soon. Uh, and also visit other clubs within the Madrid area, as, of course, we are a big university, we work with a variety of clubs, not just Real Madrid, and the idea here is that our students can be here in uh, a presential way, in on-site, get to know each other, network, and see these wonderful clubs and the professionals, see how they work, see how they are going to, to be involved. And on top of that, we're going to have also some uh, professors and some professionals helping us with uh, extra uh, activity. Again, Xavi in terms of recruitment, Martin Ortega from Leganés, Sergio Gomez from Levante as well, the academy director, and Patricia Rodriguez, who is one of the most important and most relevant um, club directors here in Spain, right now in Granada, but formerly Eibar and Elche, and uh, one of the key representatives of good uh, governance in clubs. So, um, with all of this, and plus the white week, then we would expect that our, uh, our students will be able to have a wonderful experience around what is the concept of Real Madrid. But um, this is not the end. The last point is that we're going to have a final project, and this is something that goes in a transversal way regarding the, um, the, the whole course, right? Because our main objective is for all of this to be useful and to be interesting to you in a way that you can Take it, create something of your own, and use it for your professional career in football, of course. So this final project is going to be a document that is constantly worked on, improved on. As you get new ideas, you can add things. But it's going to be your project, and we're going to help you develop it. Um, what is the idea? That you end up having something that uh, you can always go and present somewhere, a club, a boss, so you can get a better job or a new role, or you can make your first steps into football because you have developed these tools and now you have owned them. Now they're, now they're yours and you're able to apply straight away. And that's exactly what we want this course to be, something that is really useful to you, something that is um, your own life's work 
applied into something that can hopefully give your career uh, a new boost, right? So for all of these, we're not just going to have classes, which are always going to be recorded. You can always look at them again. Uh, we're also going to be working with you. We're going to uh, have individual moments to catch up, to see if you're lagging behind, if you need anything, if you want to talk about any topics. We're always going to be there for you. This is exactly what our aim is. And our professors are going to be delighted to come and, and talk to you and also hear your thoughts and, uh, and share with all of us their thoughts and how it compares to different cultures, different alternatives, because we have that relationship with them because they want to be a part of this and they want to be a part of helping you as well and, and helping us all create this, uh, this great course in which we're all thinking that we're a part of. I mean, this is something that we all share and the passion that we all have for the sport, for the game, for what happens on the pitch, what happens with recruitment. Um, we're all passionate about it as much as you are. And this is the best thing that we can hope for. All of us uh, on this side, myself, the co-director also, David Viejo, uh, our staff, the professors, uh, everybody, we share this passion. We want everybody to be able to, um, to, to grow from it, to be able to use this experience in a, not just an enjoyable way, but also a productive way. And we're going to be there for you. Um, so without any further uh, addition, um, I would I sincerely hope that this information has been helpful to you, that it's a, a, a program that, that suddenly is attractive and interesting to you. And I'm more than happy to listen to any questions. Um, Marisa, if, if you have any there, I'm more than happy. And certainly, thank you very much for your attention. Um, and I hope I didn't waste that much of your time. I know it's very late, uh, wherever it is that you are. And uh, thank you again for, for your time. Thank you very much, uh, Carlos. I don't know if Pablo is also there. Yeah, yeah I'm here. Okay. Thank you, Pablo. Now, just uh, a few questions because, uh, like you mentioned, it's, it's, it's very late in, in places like England. Well, England is also late. It's, it's one hour less than here, but I'm seeing uh, Turkey, I'm seeing India. India is really very late, so let's go to, to the questions. Um, just very few. One, one is about uh, the starting date of, of the programs because it's true that we delay a little bit. Uh, you can say to the students, when is the next intake? Yeah, in the, the MBA started uh, the, in December the 13th. Okay, the December 13th, we, we are going to start with the MBA week and it's going to be in the um, flexible program. I mean, the, uh, online are in, in campus, okay, face to face. So those students that come in, attend to, to Madrid, you can join to us or not. Uh, in live, uh, a webinar, all the, the master thesis will uh, master classes will be uh, online. The same, same with us. Yes, we're still at the but we're fully online, so no problem. <laughs> And so some students are asking about the Sadly dates of the modules, the trip to New York in the case of, uh, of the MBA. I suppose that we can send uh, later to, to, to those of you that are interested. Uh, we are taking notes of this and, and all the, the people that is as, uh, assisting you when, when you ask for information and you give us uh, your date, you can ask them about the data. We, we change a little bit the modules, it's just that we delay uh, one month, uh, but but, uh, but we already have the agenda for every single module and the trips. Uh, so we have another question um, related about um, is uh, you have any uh, requirement to study any one of your programs? I think this applies for both of you. If, if you need previous studies or or something uh, that is mandatory to have uh, previously to to do your program. Pablo. No, for, for the MBA, no, you, you can have every, every training that you have, it's, it's not important for us. The most important thing for us is, well, the, that you, you, if you have done something in the sport be, uh, before, it's great, but if not, it doesn't matter, okay? No, no worries for that. Yes, the same with us. Um, we don't have any requirements. Um, we have had students from different walks of life and different projects. 
Um, and uh, in the end, this is about one's interests, one passion, and uh, this is the way in which we want to help. And uh, we believe that our, uh, our course is open and wide enough for people of different walks of life, uh, as long as they are passionate for football, right? So uh, everybody's welcome. Okay, um, another question uh, from Gussi. I don't know if I say well. Um, um, it's asking about the, if we have a, a program about sport broadcasting, uh, campus face it. Yes, we have a program in sport journalism and communication. So we will take uh, your address and we can send you information about that. I just introduce uh, and say hello to the first day of class that they have this year. And it's an amazing program. All of them were from abroad. It's, it's incredible, no? What they are doing, and they do a, a trip to Switzerland. It's an amazing program, also. So hopefully, we will see you here uh, doing the program very soon. Um, another question: um, In the case of uh, of the NBA, Pablo, uh, they are asking if you just talk about football or about other sports. And in your case, Carlos. They asking they are asking if uh, if uh, they, they suppose that you have of course a lot of contact with Real Madrid but they ask also if you have also contact with other clubs so uh, first uh, Pablo you yeah. want yeah well as I told you well it's not a, a football management program it's a sport management so we talk about all the sports uh, for example the Olympic Games Olympic Games is about more than forty uh, different uh, sports and, and modalities so. Is not only a uh, football. For sure, football is one of the best and uh, most popular uh, uh, sports in the world. So we we need to talk about football. And we are at Real Madrid. That the the, the two sport activities of Real Madrid are basketball and football. So we we need to talk about football and basketball. But as I told you, we had different uh, cases about um, sport events like athletics, uh, uh, triathlon, and something like that. So baseball. It's not only football, it's more than football. On my end, um, the question is, uh, the, the answer is yes. Uh, we have a wide network of professionals, um, not just in Spain, but all around Europe and beyond Europe as well, from our walks of life as well. Um, from the relationships that we have professionally and via the, the university and, and the courses that we run. Um, and I think that it, that is reflected in the in the wide range of professors and lecturers that we have. Um, so realistically, we have a capacity to reach uh, clubs and people involved in football in in all four uh, four main continents of football: in uh, America and here in Europe, of course, all around Europe and Asia and even in Oceania, in Australia and in New Zealand, they, there is always people that we know. We've had students from all of these areas. Uh, I'm talking about the English speaking um, nations. So uh, in that regard, everything is 100% open, definitely. Okay, um, time flies and, and we don't have more time for, for other questions. I know that some of you have because uh, you want to know more about this journalism program, so now you are asking about prices, scholarship. Um, okay, don't worry because we will take your your data and, and we will send you a specific information to each one of you. Thank you so much for you both uh, being here so late, and also of course to all of you. Hopefully, I will see you very soon in any of our programs or in the trips or um, who knows. Uh, thank you so much for your interest and we will be connected. You have my email in the last slide. Uh, we start with you, but someone is going to contact also with you uh, about all these questions more specific that, that you still have. Thank you very much and have a nice night, evening, whatever you have uh, still. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Best of luck.